So today I'm gonna to share with you the easiest way to lay your Bagua map over your home, your floor plan. I have another video that is much more extensive and it's much more in detail about how to take the measurements and the get the floor plan and all of that. And honestly, in feng shui, with classical feng shui, the more accurate you are, the better because you don't wanna be rearranging things in certain areas when you have your map wrong but I'm gonna show you how I started using feng shui eight years ago. I started with BTB, like a mix of classical and BTB feng shui, and then later in life, I learned how to use the flying star technique. So I'm gonna show you, and like the internet eight years ago was totally different, right? We didn't have all the different things we have now. So I'm gonna show you by hand how, like the easiest way to lay this Bagua map over your home so you can find your feng shui directions and get going. I'm Jeanette Sizikowski, your go-to feng shui consultant. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing that you need to do is find the floor plan or an aerial view of your home. If you're in, a part, in an apartment, then the apartment website for sure has the A2, B2, A1 like floor plan, just to use that and you can draw over it. Those are perfect and easy. If you have a home and you don't wanna get out your floor plans or you don't know where they are, don't worry about it. Go to Google Maps, type in your address and go to the aerial view that you see there go over your roof. Now again, the more accurate you can get, the better you are long-term with feng shui, but I get that this is just a starting point. So we're gonna start so, 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 so basic. I went on the internet and just found a random home here in Dallas. And because this is real, this is do it yourself, this is really like DIY from scratch. My printer ran out of ink, but you know what? That's life. And we're gonna use this funky colored aerial view of the home. So here we are in hot pink. <laughs> but I went to, I just found a random home on Dallas, in Dallas, and I went to Google Maps, went over a home, and you can see this is the roof line. So we printed out a picture of the roof line and I'll probably draw in some thicker lines so I see the edge, but this is why like it's gonna be a little off. Your home isn't these weird shapes, that's the roof, but we're gonna try and get a general square or rectangle out of this thing. We're gonna find the center here. So on a piece of printer paper, go to Google Maps, find the aerial view of your home, take a screenshot of it. If you don't have a screenshot tool, then use the snippet tool with the scissors and take a screenshot that way, copy paste it into Word, blow it up, print it out, here you go. Now we're gonna go work together in aerial view um, and I'm gonna show you, you need like a ruler and a pencil and I'll show you the couple of compasses that we can use. Okay guys, so this is our floor plan. Funny enough, this is take two. I was doing a whole one over here and I messed up. So, <laughs> Take two. We have our home here. I'm going to take, I'm going to outline the home to make it pretty obvious. And you guys are, what we're gonna do is find the rectangle of the home. When you get an aerial view like this from the internet, do your best to cut off the roof. Try and really think about the floor. You know, in Google Maps, this is like a 3D view. So the roof over here like overhangs. Does that make sense? So I'm not gonna draw here. I'm gonna pull it in because I know that this is flat. So we go to the outline of our home or the outside of our home. I'm going to make sure that this is straight with my paper. That's why these like notches on the ruler are really nice. Okay, straight. Then we go here. Notches on the ruler like here. 
gonna go over here, pull it back. The home like obviously comes in here. We line it up again. Make sure we're actually straight here. And then our last side. I think that's right. Okay. If your home, so you got a rectangle, a square, because what we want to do is now find the center. If your home, let's use a smaller marker, is an L shape and it's really long, you're going to take these edges and then you're going to go halfway. It's going to be your edge. You're going to cut it. Okay? If, you're, if it's really long, you're gonna take half of it. If you have an L-shaped home that's like pretty shallow, like that, then you're still gonna take these same edges and then you're just gonna pull it up and you're gonna fill it in. But if it's long, cut it in half. If it's short, just fill it in and make the rectangle from there. Now we are going to find the center. This is pretty easy. Just take it corner to corner, corner. You're gonna wanna use not as thick of a marker to get more accuracy. The more accurate, oop, I didn't even get it. The more accurate, the better with feng shui so that you really get the degrees correct. Uh, if we do this home, Right, we do this home here. Here, and if we do this home, remember we're taking it from this corner, this corner to this corner, okay. So we have the center, the center, the center. I don't know why I didn't use my red, but that's okay. Okay, so here is the center. In this case, the front door is right here. Let's pretend this front door is right here and let's pretend this front door is right here. In this example, it's right in the center of the home. You're gonna want to watch my other video about how to take a compass reading. It's much more in depth. But for people with an iPhone, we're gonna use my phone really quick. You would stand in the doorway facing outward. Stand in the door frame facing outward, taking your compass reading. Let's pick a random number to, let's do 175 south. Let's do that. So you're standing here, you're facing out, and you read what's on your phone. It's awesome. Again, go watch that video because it'll tell you how to get a really accurate one. You don't want to mess up the compass reading. We're going to take 175, 175 degrees south today. Okay. So there's a few different things you can do. I told you we were going to do this truly do-it-yourself style. This is Jeanette's compass from eight years ago when I was totally do-it-yourself. The internet was not what it was today. I made my own Bagua map compass. Look, I even made it like an octagon. Because in feng shui, in classical feng shui, there we have north, south, obviously, and we have like the northeast, northwest, but the sections are broken down into minor degrees. So like Northeast is 22.5 to 67.5. So I made all of these so that I could get it accurate. Uh, now you can just print one off and just make sure you have the degrees. You could probably type in Feng Shui Compass and find a JPEG of it and just print it. And then you'll see, this filming is really unique. And you'll see we're supposed to match the center with our center red dot. And what I did was, 
I would get a pencil and I poked it through and I would match the dot with the dot with a pencil. This was really DIY, let me tell you. Now you can go to Hobby Lobby too if you wanna get a clear one, but the thing with this is there's no northeast, southeast, southwest, so you really do have to know the degrees still. I am gonna use my, for purposes of, of this video, I'm gonna use my fancy feng shui transparency that has all the different stuff on it. So, 175 degrees south, what we wanna do is line that degree up with the door. Let's use red. Take your ruler, center the dot, and find the center of your door frame. If this is your door frame, then the center of my door is right here. I'm going to line this dot up with this line. Okay, in these, we have mini markers or mini pens for the mini floor plans. In these, again, find the center of your door, line up the center, center, draw a line. Center to center. Draw a line. Because what you're gonna do now is line up 175 degrees with the center of the door because that's where you were standing. So we can't really show you because this compass is too big, but you would take this, you'd find 175 degrees on here, which is right here. You would line the center up with 175 and the door. That's why you draw this line really long. And then we need south. So south comes here and here. These are gonna be hard to show on the little ones. But then that's how you know where your south, north, east. See how now these would connect? Okay, let's just show you on the big one and not confuse you anymore. So on here we said 175 degrees south. So we take this, center with the center, go to 175 degrees, 175 is right there. We line it up with the front. Oh, line it up with the front. But now I wanna take these major lines. Now I know where the larger wedges fall. Let's use a different color. And you can draw all the way across because the wedges go all the way across. So I drew, ooh, I drew that here. South. Remember, we're keeping 175 oriented here. We're just finding our larger wedges. Hard to see sitting down. Okay, did I get them all? Now, nope, I do one more. Oh yeah, no I did. Okay, so now we'll go back and we'll connect these without that there.
The more accurate you can be, the better, because one, we're already using kind of an inaccurate aerial view. It's a little wonky in 3D. And in feng shui, you wanna make sure the right rooms fall in the right wedges. So as accurate as you can be with your compass reading and drawing, use like a pencil and pens. These thicker markers are a little blurry. But, so do you see how now our 175 stayed in the south and I got my major lines on the outside. So now, We know that this is south. Oh man, south, southwest, west, northwest, north, northeast, east, southeast. So that's how you guys find the degrees for your home. So now if I say something like, all of your money energy is in the West, you know where the West is and accurately. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, it's really easy to do by hand, very simple. And if you have any questions still that you want clarified, leave comments in the comment section below and I can answer your questions in the comment section. And maybe if it's really good and I know a lot of people are having the same question, then I'll make another video for you guys. If you are excited to get going, like this video. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and follow along as I share more feng shui and mindset tip videos with you so you can start implementing feng shui, see how easy it is to use in your life, and you can transform your life that you tolerate into one you treasure.